ISTKB Foundation Level Version 34. What is the objective of debugging? One, to localize a defect. Two, to fix a defect. Three, to show failures that are caused by defects. Four, to ensure that the fix does resolve the failure. A, one and three. B, two, three and four. C, two and four. D, one and two. Please press pass to choose your own answer before you see the correct answer on the screen. Correct answer is D, one and two, according to definitions in the ISTPB syllabus. We will see quotes for this in the last part of this video. Let's take a closer look at all the statements from 1 to 4 to find objective of debugging. Statement 1 is valid because localizing a defect is a valid debugging objective. Statement 2 is valid because fixing a defect is a valid debugging objective. Two. Statement 3 is invalid because showing failures that are caused by defects is a testing object, not a debugging object. Statement 4 is invalid because ensuring that the fix does resolve the failure is a confirmation testing, not a debugging object. Remember these two terms. Confirmation testing is retesting to check if the bug or failure has been fixed. And also regression testing is testing all the areas to see if they work properly as a result of the changes made to the code. Don't mix up all these definitions. Explanation. Finally, let's look at the section 1.1.2 testing and debugging in the ISTQB syllabus. We can see that debugging involves diagnosis is the same finding the root cause, is the same localizing a defect, fixing the cause. Also, we can see our incorrect statements 3 and 4. Testing can trigger failures what are caused by defects, and subsequent confirmation testing checks whether the fixes resolve the problem. I hope this question is highly easy for you if you figure out testing, debugging, and confirmation testing definitions. And you will obviously pass the ISTQB Foundation Level exam. Never give up!